This is what I'll be using for this fruity soup. Okay. My titanium dioxide. I've already melted it, already in palm kernel oil. This titanium dioxide is more than three years or even four years. I melted it in palm kernel oil and kept it here. Then I'll be using my oil. Okay. This is my caustic soda. This is my calcium in water. I'll be listing the measurements on the screen. This is my food extract. This is very, very thick. Very thick concentrated extract. I didn't use water. This year, I have a little bit of watermelon, mostly cucumbers and then carrots, okay? And a little bit of lime juice. It is concentrated. I blended it and then just used little water to extract out the juice. So it is a concentrated juice. This is about 250 mils. Then this is my perfume, okay? You can use any fragrance of your choice. This is my silicate. Now I'm going to add them in the order at which I put them out. I'm making hot process soap. Okay. This is my oil in here. Okay. So I'm going to add in my color first. My titanium dioxide first. Then before you start making your soap, always get your mold prepared, okay? So that's my oil. I will put it in my caustic soda now. Show you inside the mold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remove it and then go and wash my face. So, I've poured it in. I'm mixing it. You can see. Okay. I have palm oil in here. So, that's why you can see my soap is thick. Okay. And I'm using one hand to video cover. So, I've mixed in my coffee so that I'm good. Next is my calcium. I've mixed up my calcium well. Come in. This is my calcium. I mixed, I stirred it in before pouring, but still some settled down. So I'm trying to get them up. Okay. If it were smaller, I've just done it on the table in my lab, okay? But this is a bit much, so I'm doing it in an empty room where i usually do this okay so at this stage as you can see i've on my fire now i've put my pot on you can see my fire and it's a low flame later on when the soap starts boiling i will even lower it more than this because you know it's a stove you can lower it and increase it you can see my soap i've started steaming okay so i will give the soap time let me see the final color. If there's need to add the titanium dioxide, I will leave. There's no need, I will leave it. This that you're seeing here is from this peel here of the pot. It's peeling into the soap. I will remove it. It's quite difficult to get rid of this peel, but gradually it's going off, okay? So the color is okay for me, but I'll see add a little bit of titanium dioxide, okay? I've already added smaller. I added about this amount, so I'm adding another one again. So that is... I'm adding about twice this amount, okay? So I'll mix it in now. So that to give you give it a kind of um how do I see? Let the color be a little bit translucent, okay? So I'll mix it in. Then come back to you. So this is our soap. You can see how smooth it is. Okay, and I'm it's not because the temperature is low, you can see it's still not boiling. Okay. So so at this stage, I'll allow it to cook for some few more minutes. Then I'll put off the fire. Allow it to cool down a little bit for it to still be solid and fluid enough like this. Don't allow it to solidify before I'll add my other ingredients, okay? So I've removed my soap from fire. You can see. It's not on fire. Okay? So because I'm using stove and fumes do get up, 
I'm doing this in I'm doing this in a place that's a bit open. Okay, I'm not doing it in the room where I usually do my experiments. Okay, so <clears throat> um, you can see it's cooling down. You can see it's no more bringing out steam like before. So at this stage, I will add my concentrated fruit juice. Okay, as I told you, this fruit juice has little or no water in it. So I'll be pouring it all in. This is the right way to make fruit soap. And apart from that, this is cold. Okay, this water, this juice is cold. So my uh, concentrate, my juice concentrate or my juice extract. This is the right way to do it. Not the one that you pour it inside your caustic. The little things, the little minerals and everything. We get destroyed by the lye okay so i'm mixing it in properly now okay after i do that i'm going to put in my perfume now i poured in my perfume because i'm using one hand at the end of the day i pour things without watching okay so this is my perfume in i'm mixing it in I'm finding it difficult holding with one hand and working with the other. So please bear with me. Some parts are even cut off because of the way I'm using two hands. So I'll be putting in my vitamin E. Okay. This is my vitamin E oil. Okay. And then the last but not the least, my silicate. Okay, so I'll mix it in. Please excuse this video. I'm using one hand. Okay, if you want to support me with more sophisticated uh, soaping equipment so that I'll be making correct videos for you, fine. But uh, for now, I only have a, the one that can stay on the table. So I'm mixing in my vitamin E oil and my silicate. Okay, so let me keep the phone and mix it in well. And then mix. I'm going to. Okay. So now we pour into our mold. This is our mold. Let me shift it a bit. I'll start with my white.
el multis full o continuo y se acumula. Thank you. 